there's been several instances that I can think of where without Amazon Web Services and our ability to scale, we would have been dead as a company. I'm Brad Jefferson. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Animoto. At Animoto, our vision is to inspire people to share their lives using the magic of video. And what we mean by that is we want to make it really easy for people to create and share extraordinary video of their life or for their business. When we launched our website in August of 2007, we didn't know a ton of what the architectural demands were going to be. We were smart enough to put most of it in Amazon Web Services. But a couple months in, just based on our trend lines of usage, we realized that we were going to hit our capacity really quickly. And so we decided to pull all the render architecture within Amazon Web Services. And it was really good that we did that because it was only a few months later that we did an integration with Facebook and our EC2 instance counts went from a steady state of about 100 all the way to 1,000, then 2,000, then 3,000, then 4,000, and later to 5,000. When we first moved to the AWS cloud, it was primarily because we required so much processing power in relation to storage and bandwidth. It was really all processing. And so there was no other solution at the time that allowed us to do that. Within EC2 specifically, we used the GPU, and that's what allows us to render the quality of videos that we do. When a user uploads photos or retrieves photos and picks a song, we custom render that video from scratch, frame by frame. We can only use one processor at a time to do that. And so you can imagine when lots of people are creating lots of videos at the same time, it requires us to scale pretty massively. So being on GPU within the cloud has been a godsend for us. One thing that's great about being within Amazon Web Services is that we can take risks. We can do some really innovative things. Back in 2008, we added 750,000 new Facebook users to Animoto. And each of those users created at least one Animoto video. So that meant that we had to process over 750,000 videos over the course of three days. And each video was rendered on its own EC2 instance. So you can imagine the crazy scale that we had to go through there. And we were able to do it all without missing a step.